Hi there, I'm Jason Stanhouse, and I'd like to personally welcome you to my channel. Did you know walking 20,000 steps on average earns a thousand calories? Or in my case, nearly a thousand five hundred calories. Because let's face it, I'm overweight. In this video, I'm going to discuss the 20,000 steps a day challenge, any advantages and or disadvantages I have found, and a few tips and tricks for you if you decide to try it. And lastly, how it affected my body weight and body measurements. All right, I'm going to start with the rules for the 20,000 step challenge. They were pretty simple. For me, it was I had to take at least 20,000 steps every day and go at least 10 miles. I added an additional element and that I made it so I needed to be outside because I didn't want to do this all in the gym. Personally, I don't think the daily totals are all that important, but I knew some of you want to see them. So I decided to put them on the side while I talk about my overall totals. I took 434,862 steps in those 20 days. I burned 95,475 calories and I walked 211.16 miles. The first and most important benefit is honestly the exercise and weight lost. Second one, which is really close second, you're looking at right now. It's getting out and going and doing stuff that I actually enjoyed. Honestly, it just put me in a happier, less angry mood. It lowered my stress, and at the end of the day, I was getting better sleep. For me, there was only one real drawback, and it was the amount of time spent walking and thinking about places to walk to get this done. All right, I only have four pieces of advice. One, 8,000 steps is optimal. You don't need to do 20,000, but if you want to, you can. I enjoyed it. Headphones, they help a lot. Three, double up your socks. And four, go to different places when you're walking. One place all the time gets boring quickly, at least for me. The results are in, and I'm here to share them with you. My weight went from 281.1 down to 272.4. That means I lost 8.7 pounds in those 20 days. My chest went from 47 inches to 44.75. That's a loss of 2.25 inches. Nice. My waist, 47 down to 45. I didn't even realize my chest and waist started out the same, but I lost two inches off my waist, not the 2.25, which is kind of unfortunate. My hips went from 45.5 to 43.75, which is a loss of 1.75. The only real outlier I had was my calves went up an inch. They went from 18 to 19 inches. I think it was from the walking. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, if there's any questions you might have that I haven't addressed, please put them in the comments below so I can get to them. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!